I recently discovered the powerful combination of CSS grid, auto fit, and min max, which allows you to create responsive layouts like this in just one line. You can see here I have eight columns. When we reduce the screen width, at some point it becomes seven columns, at some point it becomes six columns, and if you reduce it up all the way to the smallest screen size possible here, it becomes one column. And all of this is calculated automatically. I don't even have a single media query. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this in CSS. So let's start from this. I have all my images like this. And in the HTML part here, I have a div with a class of container. Then I have div with box, div with box. I have eight of these boxes. And in each of these boxes, I have the image tag and the span tag, which contains the unsplash link, which is where I actually got these images from. Now, what I would usually do before I discover this powerful combination is that for this container, I already have my display grid and gap of 20 pixels i would usually do something like grid templates columns and i can say okay i want four columns and then i use one fr which is like 100 percent in grid and now when you come here grid would calculate 100 percent for four columns now what happens when the screen size reduces and i want three columns then i come here i create a media query that i can say maybe max with 800 pixels let's just start with that and then i can say grid template columns three columns columns. Oops, sorry. I thought I was in SCSS. Yeah, I need to put my container like this. When this becomes a maximum width of 800 pixels, it now becomes three columns. And what I would even usually do is use custom properties. So I would say columns like this and I give it four. And then for this place, I can repeat it with var and my custom columns property. And then over here, I can simply just change the columns property to three, which does the same thing. Well, now the problem is what if I want two columns? Columns. Then I have to create another media query and then specify two columns, create another media query and then specify one column. And that's a lot of work. Well, this is where this powerful combination comes in. So now I can take this media query because I don't need it anymore. I can take this custom property. I don't need it anymore. Now for my grid template columns, what I'm going to do is repeat and then I use auto fit. There is actually auto fill, which is a bit different from auto fit. And I'll explain the difference in another video. And then I can and say each of the columns should have 300 pixels. Now, if I take this back like this, this is what happens. The columns will be calculated automatically based on what can fit 300 pixels. So in this case, we have four columns. And if you extend and you extend to a particular point, you now have five columns because you can have 300 pixels of columns five times. If you reduce this, you have two columns, you have one column. The number of columns here is calculated automatically. But another problem here is you now have this blank space on the right here because only one column can fit this space at a time this place is empty until when a second column can be created and now we can fix this by introducing min max so here i can say min max and you specify the minimum and maximum value so i can say i want my minimum to be 300 pixels each of the columns should not be less than 300 pixels and then i can specify my max as one fr now what will happen is that the number of columns will be calculated automatically but then that space on the right would also be filled. So as it is like this, each of these columns are one FR. So they fill the screen or they fill the container. Now, if I extend and extend, it's still one FR. You can see the cards extending. And when it gets to this point, the grid is like, hey, I can introduce one more column, which would fit 300 pixels for each columns. And now we have four columns. And then we have one FR and one FR. And when we get to this point where the grid is like, oh, I can add even one more column and if we are also reducing this like this the grid is like okay i can only take in three columns with a minimum of 300 pixels and a maximum of one fr and even when you get to the smallest here the grid is like okay now i can only fit one column which has 300 pixels as the minimum and you can see now we have this very simple straightforward layout and you can see how all of these things are increasing and reducing width and the columns automatically calculated you can see here it's also one line i don't have any media query anywhere. Well, I hope this teaches you a thing or two about CSS, probably something you can also apply in your own web applications. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with others and subscribe and turn on notifications because I'm going to be making more responsive CSS related videos like this.